Hi, I'm Xenowave, and today I'm going to show you how I made the sound. Alright, so the main concept of the sound is just filtering this carrier, which has some uh, weird modulators going through it. So, let's get started. In the unison section, we have unison order of 9, uh, and unison panning is at 100%. Everything else is zero. Uh, operator one is just a triangle wave. That's it. Operator two is a down sample triangle wave. I have the volume route to mod X like this, and the ratio is at four. So to get this down sample triangle wave, all I did was load up a, a triangle. Didn't have to be citrus, but I bit crushed it. So it sounds like this. And the way I did that was I load up an, an effector, turn on lo-fi, and I just set my X and Y's to whatever I liked. Oops. And yeah. I recorded that waveform into Edison. All I need is a single cycle. So, all I did was arbitrarily pick something like this, and I drag and dropped it into my citrus. And voila, we have our down simple triangle. Didn't have to be perfect. And yeah, that's it for operator two. Operator three is, I believe, a copy of that. I think I copied uh, these settings, pasted it into operator three, and I just got rid of all the extra harmonics. And just made it a regular like triangle. Yeah, like that. Let's see. Yeah. And I have the volume set to 20%. Positive 20%, but that can be whatever you'd like. And operator four is just the formant. So again, I got a different citrus. I call this preset the formant generator because this is how formants are generated. <laughs> uh, you take a sine wave and you RM it by a halved saw wave, uh, usually a few octaves below. In this case, it's three octaves below the carrier. And you just record it. That's what it sounds like. Let record it through Edison. Well, yeah, I can see that. And you drag and drop it into your citrus, and there you go. There's your your formant. I'm pretty sure that's the A formant. Don't quote me on that. I'm not. I'm not fully comfortable with formants yet. But yeah, that's how you get that for operator four in the main patch. And I route the volume to mod X like this. So this filled this FM's operator three, operator three FM's operator two, and operator two uh, uh, FM's operator one. Nice little serial FM configuration we have here. And I have the volume set to positive 17%. And that's it. Feel free to change these curves as, as needed, by the way, because it didn't have to be exact. It all makes a difference. Operator 6 is just a direct sub going out. And this is just what I have for the volume for some movement. I think I think I have a little tensor on here. 
Yeah, it looks like it. A little bit of tension on the side wave. And filter one is a peak filter. And I have the gain set to 62%, default resonance, default cutoff. I have high quality flat and triple mode on. And this is my cutoff to mod X shape graph. <laughs> and I, this is the gain. Yeah, so I wrote the, it's called low, but it's, if you look at the hint bar, it's called filter low slash gain slash drive, depending on the filter you're using. And I just wrote this mod X so that uh, the peak filter goes above zero decibels after a certain uh, threshold, which is this. And I route this into filter two, which is a high pass filter, which is on high quality and super mode. I have the cutoff set to 38% and default, I have a default resonance. And this is the shape for the cutoff to mod X. And it's just a high pass swooping up. And the resonance also goes up a little bit, just for more uh, exaggeration for the sound. And I route filter two into filter three, which is just a phaser on high quality flat and alternate triple mode. So I have 10 poles for this phaser. I have cutoff at 50 percent and resonance at 50 percent and I have the resonance route to mod x like this and I have the cutoff set to use an index mapping like this who values this oops yeah at 81 percent or positive 62 percent if you look at the hip bar and I have the LFO on the uh resonance for a watery effect and I also have using this mapping for the resonance as well. I forget why I did this, but I'm pretty sure it contributes to the sound. <laughs> yeah, it's just I mean it just has different resonances for for each voice of the phaser really. Which can yield interesting results. Yeah. So let's actually default this. Yeah, see how it's kind of peaky? Makes a really, really, really tiny difference. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the filters. For the effects, I have no cores on. And really, it's just um, delay one, I turned on serial. And I have no feedback, no delay time. I just set the delay time stereo offset 14.3 milliseconds to the right. I put the volume up to 83%, put on ping pong. And I did a similar thing for the second delay. And I turned the, the stereo offset 3.7 milliseconds to the left. And I have a, the default volume on. And that's the sound. Um, if you want more timbres, mess with this FM. Definitely. Uh, I would say mess with the phases. Definitely the, the harmonics. You can get different sounds this way. And yeah, have fun with it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And... Have an awesome day.